If you want to learn about rubella antibody titer testing, you have come to the right place. We are titer test experts. Let's review a few Accessa Lab sample reports to help you learn how to interpret the rubella titer results. Most schools and workplaces want to see a quantitative or numerical result, which can be found under the result header on the sample report. You can find the numerical result here. This sample report has a result of 8.96. And based on Quest Diagnostics result index shown here, any result greater than or equal to 1 is consistent with immunity. Therefore, this sample report represents a positive result. Now let's take a look at a negative result. Once again, we look under the result heading. This report has a result of less than 0 0.90. You might also notice the low marking under the flag header. Based on Quest Diagnostics Result Index, any result less than 0 0.90 is not consistent with immunity. Therefore, this sample report represents a negative result. Now we will review an equivocal result. This report has a result of 0 0.91. Once again, there is a low notation under the flag header. And based on Quest Diagnostics, result index shown here, any result between 0 0.90 and 0 0.99 is equivocal, which means that the result is neither negative or positive. Based on CDC recommendations, a negative or equivocal result for rubella titer suggests that vaccination is needed for immunity. You can learn more at the CDC website. Please follow up on personal results with your medical provider. If you have additional questions, please call us at 888-946-9522 or email us at health at Thanks for your interest and have a great day.